Welcome everyone. I'm really excited about this next video. Um, so I belong to a lot of mixed media groups on Facebook and Acosta groups and all kinds of art groups. Like that's pretty much all my Facebook is, is art at this point, which I'm totally fine with. Um, and one of the groups is uh, Seth Apter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Seth Apter is a mixed media artist from New York City. He has a, a Facebook page and um, his own line of products and things. And anyway, someone was on his page and they shared a project that they had been doing of register tape with cash register tape. And like my brain just went off. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. It was like just a scroll of art that you could unroll. And I immediately thought, oh, there's gotta be a way I can do that with encaustic. I mean, obviously I'll have to to think about it and tweak some of the things that they're doing probably, but I really wanted to try it. So I started searching for cash register tape and there's a lot out there that you can find. You can even find it in bulk boxes. But the problem that I found was I couldn't really find any that had paper um, inserts instead of, most of them have plastic inserts that are that the paper is wound around. And I didn't want plastic. I wanted to be able to dip, to dip it into my wax um, and let it soak into the paper. It's going to have to be a really thin application because it's a scroll. Like I don't want the wax to be thick enough that it's going to crackle or break or anything. I want it to be like wax paper. So it needs to be, it needed to be a paper insert. So I found this store on Etsy called Paper Chick Studio and she sent me this super cute little paper bag with my cash register tape. I ordered um, a couple things from her store. And like, just look, she's got these bags. She, had, she stamped it herself. So cute. Put uh, some stapled, some little uh, stuff to it. And so this is the tape that I ordered, right? This is a little roll. The, both of these are about two bucks a piece. So not very expensive. Um, this has got a paper insert in it. This one doesn't have any insert. It's just a, it's just a very long roll of the, of paper and different um, widths. So I'm excited about that. But then she also included this sweet little note and these extra little collage pieces. So I'm definitely gonna have to find a way to incorporate these into my scroll. Sorry, my, my wax is starting to smoke here a little bit. If it starts to smoke, you're, you're on a little too high. So I'm just gonna turn it down. Um, so yeah. Super excited about this. Uh, I might have to put this in there too. We'll see. Or, and even the bag. Like, this bag is waxed. Like, it's like wax paper. So, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to get started. And I'm, I don't know what the final product is going to look like, because obviously I haven't started anything yet. But, we'll see what I come up with. Thanks for watching. So the biggest thing with this project was figuring out how to soak the entire scroll in wax. I, I didn't want it to take forever. I thought it would be quicker to kind of dip it and then, and then heat it on my palette so that the wax would kind of liquefy and, and uh, soak into all the paper. But I learned pretty quickly that that was not going to work um, because the the scroll i mean i loosen the scroll you can see that it's pretty loose but it wasn't loose enough the the wax is no matter how warm it is it's still kind of catching between those layers of paper and it's being prevented from kind of soaking in all the way through the middle and you i noticed that there were as i was trying to unroll it like the it was the wax was causing the papers to stick together and and uh, I ripped it a little bit too. So I'm kind of figuring all that out as I'm, as I'm trying these things. And what I learned is that I just needed to, to unroll the whole thing and just wax the paper and wax the paper, but also wipe it off and make sure that I didn't, cause I didn't want to have any um, excess like chunks of wax um, anywhere. 
I figured I could add that later if I wanted to, but not right now. So, so this is what I ended up doing is unscrolling it on my palette so that it's still warm. And I'm using a paper towel to kind of soak up the excess and to spread it around and soak up the excess. So I'm essentially just waxing the paper. There's no excess or anything. And I'm doing it through the whole scroll, unrolling it and waxing it. I also, I want to mention, um, I thought I recorded it, but I guess I hadn't, is that I, I dipped the ends of the scroll before I um, unrolled it. I dipped the, the ends of the scroll in different colored ink. So one side is black and the other side is white because I wanted this scroll to be kind of black and white themed. So that's the, you can see the, the black on this side. You'll probably at some point see the white on the other side. So I have my wax scroll and now it's time to just embellish it and add some art, some art to it. And I knew I wanted to, you know, it's a scroll. What do you do on scrolls? You write on them. So, and text is always something that I'm fascinated with. This, the symbol of words and letters and how, you know, we give them meaning and they convey the power they have to convey ideas. what I love about this is that the, the wax really makes the, wa the, um, the paper very transparent. So everything that you see that I'm adding, you can see on the other side as well. So this is a drafting pen and I haven't really used it very much. It's, it's not good, you know, just on wax or whatever, but on paper it's, that's what it's designed for is for, um, writing on paper. And, um, I just love it. Like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, you can tell that I'm not a professional at using this, right? I'm not a pro. I, I haven't used it very much before, but it's making such cool marks on the scroll. Now the India ink that I'm using, it does um, kind of float on the surface a little bit, so you have to wait for it to dry. It doesn't soak into the paper. The wax is keeping it from doing that. So um, you let it sit on top until it dries. But once it dries, it's permanent.
I've had this date stamp for a while, um, but I've only used it a couple of times. I thought it'd be fun to add a corresponding date to the, to the parts of the scroll that I'm working on. It's always kind of fun to, to look back on what you've done in the past and actually be able to, to put it to a specific date. Now I'm trying some white India ink stamping on here, but it's just the, I think the, the wax, the, the scroll is too light and transparent. You can't really see it, um, not stamped. The, the transfer is just not um, solid enough to, to give you a good impression with. You can, you can see it if you look really closely, but obviously the black has a lot more contrast and stands out much more than the white does. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the drafting pen a lot better than, than this old calligraphy nib. I'm really just kind of um, practicing and experimenting with the different marks that I can make with the tools that I have. Because I'm very limited on the tools that I have right now. And so just trying different things to see what, um, what effects I can create. The ink dries on the drafting pen pretty quickly while I'm working, so I have to clean it off every once in a while. This was kind of a cool effect, like highlighting these circles and scribbles with, with the white. Like the, the black definitely stands out underneath it, but then adding the white on top, it, it gives some cool depth. Yeah, sometimes I get a good transfer with these stamps and sometimes I don't. I think when when I have like um better transfer is when it's a, it's a thicker ink and um I I brush it on not too not too much. Sometimes I'll I'll have link ink left over on the stamp and I'll kind of add a little bit of water to rehydrate it a little bit and I don't really have good results with that. Um cuz it ends up being too much water and the more the more liquid, the more water there is, um, I've noticed the, the worse the transfer is. Yeah.
You can't go wrong with ink splatters. They are fantastic. I love adding some splatters. Now this, I wasn't sure if this was going to work. These are rub-ons that I got at the dollar store. Um, but I wanted to try them. So I'm using, in this video, I'm just using a couple small, like little fl flowers. But I, I will say, I they worked perfectly. And I love adding a little bit of gold to this kind of neutral colored scroll. I think it adds a, a really cool effect. And so as I continue to work on this, because this is obviously not the entire scroll that's in this video, as I continue to work on this, um, rub-ons are going to be, I'm going to add more rub-ons because it, it's just going to, it's just going to be super cool. And that, that kind of flash of foil, gold foil is, is going to be amazing throughout this. So I'm going to go through and probably add some more elements to this, some collage elements, some, some pieces of paper, um, some more rub-ons, different things like that, and maybe some more text. So this is just kind of an initial layer, like a background. But this project, I'm just going to keep working on it. It's going to be so fun. And I'll send you guys updates as I keep working on it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being my members. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.